guys welcome back to my channel starting out this vlog a little bit later in the day as you can see it is dark outside it's currently around five o'clock and i'm about to make some dinner and i wanted to share with you guys what i'm making because i'm so excited about it i'm going to be making some spicy shrimp tacos which sound so good to me right now i've been craving this and i thought i would just make it at home since obviously restaurants are closed so you just got to get creative sometimes at home with your meals so that is what i'm going to do today okay so here are some of the things that I need for the shrimp tacos starting with this tray we've got some taco shells I'm gonna put these in the oven just for a few minutes um, before we're ready to eat I've got the hard ones and also the soft like tortilla wraps and we have more of these in case we need and then here I've got some limes green onion garlic cilantro some avocado this is a dairy-free creme fraiche and then we've got some olive oil this is a little mix of some spices for the shrimp I'm gonna mix all of that up put the shrimp inside and then fry them on a pan for a few minutes and over here we have the cabbage the recipe that i'm using calls for green cabbage but they didn't have any at my supermarket so i'm just using red ones and i'm going to shred it in my food processor just so that it goes a little bit quicker i'm also going to use this for the sauce as well so i'm going to do this first then do the sauce but yeah i'm so excited for this Okay, so this is going to be our garlic cilantro lime sauce that we're gonna put in the cabbage and also on top of the tacos. So I've got some garlic, of course, some green onion, cilantro, that is the dairy-free cream that I showed you. And then we've got some olive oil, some water, lime juice, and salt. I'm now going to pulse this up. <laughs> Is really really good so i've saved some of the sauce in a separate little bowl we're going to use this to top the tacos with and the rest of it i'm going to add to the coleslaw so now i'm going to do the shrimp i have washed them and also just dry them off with a paper towel the recipe did suggest this and i think it makes them a little bit more crispy so i'm going to give it a try i'm then going to put them into this mixture and then onto the pan i've got a little bit of olive oil and they are already cooked so they just need to be kind of like reheated Okay, so we are ready to eat. We have all of our things for the tacos. We've got the taco shells, coleslaw, the wraps, the sauce, so good. Some sliced avocado, the spicy shrimp. Good morning guys, it is currently around 9 o'clock in the morning. I am about to make some breakfast, I'm going to do some celery juice first. I've been really into green juicing again and I just, I love the way that it makes me feel. And with all the chocolates and sweets and like Christmassy things that I've been eating, I feel like it's just like a good balance for me, you know, with my skin. Because I definitely notice if I eat too many sugary things, I get a lot more breakouts. But I feel like the green juice, it kind of just balances it a bit, it helps to reduce 
inflammation. They're of course packed with nutrients and antioxidants and all of that good stuff for your skin. So yeah, I'm gonna make a um, green juice for Mo and I and then some breakfast. We actually just got back from the doctor's office. We went in for a COVID test. We are gonna be uh, flying to Geneva, Switzerland for Christmas. They do require a corona test, like a negative um, corona test before you fly, which I think is so amazing. I love that they do that because obviously right now with these times, it's very sensitive. And I really appreciate that they take these um, safety measures as well. So you know that everyone on the flight and everyone at the airport has to be tested negative before they're allowed in. So I think that's really, really great. So yeah, we did our test and it wasn't that bad. I know that a lot of the tests that I've seen, they have to um, stick this thing up your nose and they go really, really far back and that just, ugh, like, that creeps me out. But um, this, what they do, they just stick it, they have to get like a part at the back of your tongue. That is not too bad. Like, it's of course not the best feeling, but it's, it's bearable. So yeah, we did that and we will get our results tomorrow. And then our flight is in the evening tomorrow. It's at eight o'clock in the evening. And I'm so excited to see my family. I haven't seen them in a year. And I know that's been the case for most of us if we live far away from our families. So my heart goes out to anyone who is in that situation as well and who won't be able to see their families this year and have all of their family together. My brother won't be able to come to Christmas this year, which is really sad. So it's definitely a lot different this year, but I'm super, super grateful that I can at least see my mom. And of course, Mo's gonna come with me and gonna see the kids. I'm so excited. I absolutely love this time of year because of this. Seeing my family, being at home, just spending time with them really means the world to me. So I'm very, very excited. So right now I'm going to make some celery juice. We're gonna have breakfast and then I'm gonna start preparing and organizing for tomorrow. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna be juicing this morning. I've got a whole bunch of celery, some cucumber, some lemon, lime, and ginger. This combination is so good. So great for your immunity as well, especially right now. And this is my juicer. It's from Omega. I love this. It's a slow press juicer, but if you guys are looking for a centrifugal one, like one that spins, I would highly recommend the Breville Juice Fountain Plus. That one is really great as well. I will have all the information for both of these juicers below in the description box. And by the way, this is going to make about two full glasses of celery juice plus one for tomorrow. And I always like to make a little bit extra so that I have some for the next day. And if you put lemon or lime in your juice, it acts as a natural preservative. So you can keep it for one or two days. going to be wrapping some gifts. I have a variety of things here. We already have a few of the gifts wrapped, but these are ones that I haven't gotten to yet. Here I have some little bags with different products inside. This is for my sister, this is for my brother, and this is for my mom. My siblings are in that age now where they are getting a lot of breakouts. They are in their teenage years right now. So I wanted to get them a few products um, that could help them and just make like a really simple skincare routine for them. So for my brother, for instance, I got him the Inkylist Salicylic Acid 
cleanser. I've read really good things about this for African skin. And then I got him a moisturizer as well. I don't think that he's one to do like a full-on skincare routine. He is a teenage boy, so I just wanted to keep it simple. And then for my stepdad, who is really into cooking, I got him this knife sharpener. So this is the one that I have as well. And I freaking love this thing so much. It's so amazing it's really affordable and it really does sharpen your knives very very well and it makes the biggest difference when you are preparing food very excited to give this to him and then of course classic home slippers um these are for my mom and then for my brother as well i got him some cozy um sweatshirts and here are a few of the gifts that we've already wrapped this wrapping paper is so cute love it out of the snow and cold We've got it nice and warm In here you find both young and old Seeking shelter from the storm Wrapping gifts like this that are odd sizes is not the easiest but it's the thought, you know? Gifts are all wrapped. I'm now going to get my own things ready, things I need for whilst we're there. It's gonna be very chill. We're just gonna be at home, obviously, with my mom. So I'm gonna bring some comfy clothes, my workout things. I might do a little bit of Pilates or yoga in the morning because I've been really into it. I've been in a pretty good routine the last few weeks, so I wanna try to keep it up. Then I also need an outfit for our Christmas Eve dinner, which my mom hosts at home, which is like a little bit fancier. It's not you know like crazy fancy but i do like to wear a dress or like a nice top or something like that so i have to pack that and then of course like my skincare makeup things like that so let's get started so i think i want to wear this champagne colored top where is it this one right here this is from zara i believe oh my gosh there's a huge stain on it <laughs> okay i have to wash this and i'll put some gold jewelry with this and for pants i'm gonna do my black culotte pants that are a little bit flowy i think they're gonna go really well with that i think i'm also going to bring this sweater this is from fabletics and i love the color of it and i like to wear it with these nude leggings these are also from fabletics and the color is very similar so i'm going to take this as well i don't think i've ever showed this to you guys before but i would highly recommend it it's a little supplement organizer and this is not only really great for traveling but even just for day to day just to keep you on track with supplements if you guys want to know more about the supplements i take i will have two other videos linked below where i go more into it but this is super handy i get this on amazon and it's in german because i got it on the german amazon but yeah it's just all the days of the week and you can pop in your supplements and it makes it a lot easier to remember to take them and of course that you're taking all the ones that you need i also wanted to give you a little update on the nail polish that i shared with you guys in a few videos back these are from essie they are a gel nail polish but you don't need a light to cure it this is now like the fourth time that i've done my nails with this and verdict is i would highly highly recommend it it does stay longer than a normal nail polish but not as long as a traditional gel polish so i can get a good like week week and a half wear out of this and yeah just really good for these quarantine days where nail salons are closed but you still want to have a nice mani if you guys want to see how i do my manicure i will also have that video linked below as well in the description box i just received this big box and this is from Kara. Ooh, look at that. So this is the 
first item they sent me. This is a sports bag. So beautiful. And on the inside, I like that. So yeah, this is a gym bag. You can put your sneakers in here, a towel. And then this is a toiletry bag. This is the Nimbus Cosmetic in size medium. Oh, this is so pretty. I am obsessed with toiletry bags like this. I use them for everything and not just for toiletries. I use these for electronics, cables, anything small. I prefer to have them in little bags like this as opposed to just like floating around. And this one is really nice because it has this lining here. So if you, you know, get makeup in here or product, you can just easily wipe it down and it's not going to stain, which I love. And the color is also really, really nice. And then they also sent the Studio Tote in medium. And it looks like this it also has these attachments here so you could wear it as a backpack if you want and this is another sports bag so they make luxury sports bags they have some really really nice ones on their site I would highly recommend checking them out and that is what it looks like on the inside so very roomy and again this lining looks like it's pretty resistant to any spills or anything like that just great it also has a nice big pocket here and then what i thought was really cool is that it has this zipper here on the side and here you can actually put in your sneakers and then i also got these face masks these are the universal masks and they are in the neutral color pack so you get five different masks Ooh, i love these tones how nice is that this is totally up my alley when it comes to colors and that's what they look like on the inside so these are really nice thank you so much to care for sending these over and also for these bags I had my celery juice earlier and now I'm having this and I'm making myself some breakfast and I wanted to let you know I'm loving this machine you guys know that I got this um, a few like now it's been a month or so I got this right when we moved in and I absolutely love it I put some cinnamon inside and a little bit of almond milk and it is so delicious and I use these pods from Starbucks you see it's called Pike Place Roast and they are really really good so we are basically ready to leave i have all of my things here on the bed as a lot of you guys probably know i like to use packing cubes whenever we travel they look like this i get them on amazon i absolutely love them this one has all of my workout things which i honestly don't have like a ton of things for working out it's just got my uh, yoga like cover towel and my mom has a yoga mat at home so i'm just gonna put this on top and then a sports bra and my little workout shorts and that's basically it i also love this case it's also from amazon and this has been my go-to um, makeup case for the last few years so it has two compartments you have spaces for all of your brushes and then in the second part here you have places for all of your actual products with little dividers as well which i find really helpful and then this little section here too with some zippers and little pockets so this i would highly highly recommend i will also be taking my new bag from Kara. i usually have like my normal handbag and then i will have this as a little carry-on for my laptop and i normally use the one from long which is very similar to this it's actually almost identical from the outside this is maybe like a few centimeters smaller what i love about this one are all of the pockets and stuff that the other one doesn't have it has a huge zipper here also for your laptop so i want to see if i can actually fit mine in and then this morning i discovered that this shoe compartment here that i showed you guys yesterday you can actually clip it in to the side so that it's not in the middle which i think is so genius and i also saw that they had this little water bottle compartment here which i thought was so cute as well so i want to check now if my laptop fits 
It fits perfectly. Oh my god, that is perfect. And then in this compartment here, I have our passports, all of our travel documents. We got our test back from the doctor's office and we are both negative, which is great. So these are those papers. I also washed the face mask that I got yesterday as well. I love the colors of these. They obviously look a little bit wrinkled right now, but at least they are clean. And I wish I had like a code for you guys. This is not sponsored by Kara, but I will have all of these items linked for you guys below. Having a little snack before we leave for the airport. I've been craving this. This is gluten-free toast. And I put some almond butter on top, some honey, coconut flakes, and cinnamon. It's so good.